So, you're a homeowner looking to sell your house fast. You've done all of your market research, you've taken care of all the adjustments needed to impress your next potential buyer, and you've even baked the freshest bread to ensure that your home has a very welcoming scent during your next viewing. But could you be missing something? That's the question. Private property CEO Simon Bray is here to give us some tips on how to tick all the right boxes of what a property buyer is looking for. Simon, good morning. Great to have you with us. Good to be here. So let's talk about I mean, the general concerns and, and the worries that home buyers have these days. What are they? Yeah, our buyers uh, have quite a few concerns when they're looking for their next property. It's a big decision, there's a lot of money involved, mm. uh, so they can get a little bit scared uh, making that kind of investment. The, the biggest thing that buyers worry about is access to finance, uh, something that has become a little bit difficult with the banks over the past few years. Uh, and then that very scary proposition of buying a property that turns out to be a money pit. Yeah. You know, the poor plumbing, the electrics that don't work, uh, a pool pump that is actually pumping the water into your back bedroom. Wow. You know, all of these things <laughs> can be pretty scary for someone when they're first looking. Mm -hmm. um, the trick for any buyer is obviously just to acquaint themselves with as many options as they can and that's mm -hmm. why a website like Private Property is the best place for someone to get an overall view of the market and make sure that they've seen all the options. Yeah, and I think as a, as a seller as well, obviously things that you need to take into consideration when you're preparing your house for sale to make sure that all of these niggly bits are, are taken care of. We spoke sure. last week and Justin spoke about um, buyers looking at houses that are in close proximity to things like schools, to convenience stores, you know, what, what is in your area. Is that still relevant? Are buyers still looking at that? Yeah, short answer, yes. I mean. The truth is, despite all the technological innovations, kids still have to go to school. Yeah. So uh, you find a lot of families, and that's where the buying power is certainly in the market for new homes. Uh, they'll look at the schools that are in the area. Some of the things that have changed in the last few years is that schools no longer just take enrolments from local communities or local neighbourhoods. Oh. So if you're prepared to travel, you could live anywhere. Uh, but uh, still, for most people, they like to live nearby the school. Yeah. So Simon, with the current economic climate, is purchasing still a sound investment? I'd say so. I'd say if anything, the financial crisis has shown us that uh, stock markets can be very volatile. Mm. Um, share trading, one day you're up and one day you're very down. So people have been looking for a way to safeguard their investments and see them grow over time. And Property as an investment has come back into favour with a lot of people because it is based on fundamentals and in the long term you do see an appreciation mm -hmm. in property values. Mm -hmm. Tell me about private property and the services that you offer there and how they've made it easier for uh, potential buyers out there to kind of find their ideal home. Well, of course. I mean, 10, 15 years ago it was unthinkable to see all of the property available on the market on one website. Mm -hmm. And I think we certainly in that era where anybody can hop onto the website regardless of their uh, knowledge about real estate and get a good understanding of what is available in the market. They can look at various finance options, they can browse virtual tours of properties and immerse themselves in the homes long before they even visit the home. So yes, it certainly educated the buying market and uh, a lot tougher to pull the wool over their eyes. Yeah. I mean, the, the service is comprehensive I and mean, you go there, you know, right down from, from the bond calculator to the, the photos and the images that you have of the property that you're going to be buying. So has this kind of, not nullified, but taken the role of the agent over? It's a good question. Uh, the truth is estate agents are still very, very valuable. Yeah. When someone's buying a home, they're making a massive purchase decision, mm -hmm. uh, a price point that isn't set, it's up for negotiation and they're not spending their own money, often they're spending a bank's money. So this is a foreign purchasing process to a lot of people and estate agents help support the individual through that process and educate them as they go. Yeah. And I think the biggest role of an estate agent is many people are comfortable to browse a website and look at a lot of new homes that are for sale. But when it comes to hard negotiations on price, uh people find themselves out of their depth. And I think estate agents have that unenviable task of making a buyer and a seller believe that they've got a good deal. Yeah. So it's a good combination easy. of the two is, is to your benefit. Then, For at, sure. at the end of the day. Let's talk about this, the, the prize that, uh, I think the biggest prize ever given away on South African television, the top billing dream apartment. What, what is going to be the full valuation at the end when everything is completed? Well, if you talk about just the apartment, you're looking at well over five million rand. But I think that sells it short because the truth is, because of the profile of this prize, uh, experts, architects, decorators yeah. and appliance companies have gotten involved to the point 
that their expertise is something that you can't bill for. Yeah. Uh, so I think it's making a truly unique property mm -hmm. and when there's a unique offering in the market, who knows what its value really is. That's true and what, I mean one that certainly stands to grow quite a lot in the future I, su I suppose. For sure. Simon, thank you very much for joining us. Much thank appreciated. You, so if you'd like to stand a chance of winning that prize, five million rands plus worth of property, don't miss out on top billing this evening to see more developments of the top billing dream home. And of course, top billing will also be crossing over to the apartment after the show where viewers will stand a chance of winning an iPad courtesy of private property.